good, mo good morning and welcome to uh, another maths video, uh, another fascinating tour of a formal written method. This time we're going to look at short multiplication, so how we multiply uh, a two digit number by a one digit number. We'll also look at three digit by one digit um, and using this column method. It's very straightforward once you've got it and we'll just look at uh, how to do this, work through a couple of examples together. So uh, watch on and enjoy the video. So here we have our third um, lesson on the formal written methods, and this is short multiplication, uh, as I said in the introduction. So a couple of examples. You can see here how we set it out. We put the uh, larger number, the two digit number on the top line, and below it, we put the one digit number, making sure we line up the uh, units and the tens. Here's a three digit number, 648 times a one digit number so again we've lined it up correctly give us plenty of space and then we have two lines underneath so let's have a look at a couple of examples and what we do when we're doing short multiplication so here's our calculation here 38 times 9 so we can look at a couple of ways of doing it so firstly here we've got if you look at 38 we can partition it into 30 three tenths there times nine and eight, eight ones times nine. So if we work those two bits out, 30 times nine, well I know three times nine is 27. So I wonder if anyone can work out 30 times nine. Yep, that's right, 270. And eight times nine is 72. So now I've got those two numbers. They're the two parts of the calculation. I can add those up. Here we have a, a method called the grid method that we've, we also, use in school it's just again another way of understanding how the calculation works so 9 times 30 as we've already worked out is 270 9 times 8 is 72 if we add those two numbers up we get 342 which is about right and a, just a good way of thinking about it is do an estimate 38 times 10 will be 380 so it's going to be a bit less than that and we can use that. So here's how the method works. So we start with our eight, our units, we multiply by the nine. So that's the first bit, eight times nine, 72. So we put the two units in there. We carry the seven into the tens column, because 72 is seven tens and two ones. And then we do our tens times the nine. So three tens times nine, 30 times nine is 270 plus this seven. Okay, so we put three, that's 340, but we've already got zero, we've got a two in there in the unit, so we just put our four there and our three there, so 34, so 342. So this method is one we start teaching in year three into year four, and it's one they use in year five and six with larger numbers before we go on to long multiplication, which we'll look at in another video. So we'll work through a couple more examples. So you see the calculation like that, 84 times six, set it out, give yourself plenty of room, 84 times by six, two lines there. So first calculation here, four times six is 24, carry the two into the tens, eight times six is 48, add the two is 50, so 504, okay, is our answer. Again, we can do a bit of uh, estimating and just double checking that we're in the right area, so I could do 84 times five, so I know 84 times 10 is 840, if I half that, I get 420, well, I'm doing a bit more than that, I'm doing another lot of 84, 84 add 420 is 504. So now let's look at a three digit number by a one digit number, so 145 times seven. So again, you set it out, make sure you're giving yourself enough room. Time sign in like that. Okay, so five times seven, nice and easy, 35, carry the three, four times seven, 28, add the three is 31. So put the one of the 31 in there, carry the three into there. One times seven is seven, add three is 10. So 
right in there, 1015. Okay, and that feels about right, about 150 times seven is gonna be 1050, I think. So if we then look at that, we know we're in the right area. Okay, and then just a couple more to work through. 74 times eight, so if you do these together, so 74 times eight, Put it together, four times eight is 32. So remember we do our unit times our unit first. So that's 32, carry the 10 into the next column. Seven times eight is 56. Good way to remember, seven times eight is five, six, seven, eight. So seven times eight is 56. Add the three is 59, so 592. And then our last one, 126 times five set it out when the children work in their maths books they've got squares so always tell them to work one number per square just so they've got plenty of room for all the carries and things like that so th six times five is 30 carry the three if I write it correctly two times five is 10 add the three is 13 so we carry the one into the next column one times five is five add one is six 630 now just a quick thing to point out, when we multiply a number by five, what must it always end in? As long as it's a whole number by five, it will always end in a zero or a five. So we know that's something to just keep us checking. If we've multiplied a number by a multiple of five, it will always end in a five or a zero. So that's a quick whistle stop tour through short multiplication. Um, have a go at some yourself if you want to use a dice you can use dice to generate numbers and, and practice those you can see how important it is to know your times table so if you're not so confident on your times table get a, a little grid of your times tables to help you practice and keep practicing those because it's really really important when you're doing these calculations you are really confident and know your times table so good luck and we'll see you soon